Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and today we're looking at a game called Math the Roguelike. This is actually created on what's called the Mega Zooks, or Mega Zeuks. The Zeuks is like Zeus, the god, but it's with an X. And uh, in any case, it's made with the Mega Zooks engine, and it's created by a guy named uh, K. Kairos. I mean, you can see it there, you know probably how to pronounce it better than I do. Let's go ahead and hit P to play. I have looked at absolutely no controls for this right now, so let's hope this works out. Uh, Megazooks was easy enough to install, or rather download, put somewhere, and look at the config file quickly so I could make a stretch video better. Anyway, um, ma rogue mathematicians everywhere know that secretly on the day before he died, Pierre de Fermat hid one last theorem in the famed number cave somewhere in Europe. As one of the Mies mathematician rogues, you have finally tracked down the number cave's location and are setting out to find the rumored Fermat's other last theorem, because as everybody knows, Fermat's last theorem has actually been solved sometime in 2000, late 2000 dizzes by a couple of guys being cool. I don't actually remember their names or anything. Uh, good luck. When starting a new game, generation will take approximately 30 to 60 seconds. Alright. Cheap mode mass unlocks everything and ups your HP massively. Good if you wish want to play around. Well, let's go ahead and figure out... I wonder if this counts during the generation. That would be interesting. What is your name, Math Rogue? I'll call myself Gauss. Gauss, uh... Gauss-tron... Gauss Tron 800, because I think uh, that's what it's right. Now that would be, I'd have to be like the 53. There we go. Yes, that'll fit. All right, so um, now we got some some uh, generating to do. So I guess we gotta, I don't know, bide our time and and uh, have some uh, some hold music, you know. Oh wait, oh there we go. Never mind. I was going to bring out the hold music, but that's... I guess we'll do that some other time. <laughs> so we got a dagger, got a roll, uh, an identity function, which... Wow, that's that's pretty cool. We got... Yeah, right, the identity function is the identity function. If divides... If three divides by turn count, then player HP is plus five. I guess player HP equals player HP plus five. It's incremented by five, whatever. Maybe? I don't know. Three divides the turn count. So that'll start by... Wait, how will that work? Um, I guess three being the divisor? Oh, barnacles. Um, I guess I don't know any buttons. I hope that there's a button button. There we go. Help. Um, would this be help for uh, yeah it says nondescript play tips um, so the controls actually aren't I don't think available directly to me let me go ahead and look for some controls because I, I don't I don't like to completely do this blind if there isn't available you know availabilities so I'll be right back aha and apparently there isn't an, an in-game help it's just the H button oh that was sweet huh <laughs> Megazooks is pretty cool. Uh, so we got, yeah, normal number movement. I had already figured that out. Uh, running enemies to attack. Yeah, right. Uh, equipment swap screen. Take stairs. Abandon quest. Get help. Right. Damage functions act on the dice roll to give normal damage output. That's cool. Um, conditionals. Right. I guess I haven't seen that work. When the if condition is met, the then statement is activated. If it acts on damage, it always acts last after the damage function. Level up is awarded by getting some experience points. That will just happen. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I could probably just press yeah H again. So let's just hope this works well. I guess. Okay, cool. I did. Uh, oh man, ow. Oh, but I did. Okay, I did just seven damage, eleven. Ow. Also. How much HP does this guy have? Okay, well he's dead. So. I got experience. I got a linear function on the ground. Um, pick up. Got the linear function. And now we got equipment. Oh man, this is this is really nice UI. I don't, I don't know if this is because of the Mega Zooks, but in any case, it's really nice. So 
How do I go back to? Oh, whoa! This is it's kind of quick. There we go. So linear. So it's just plus ten. That's that's quite nice. I think I will. I think I'll use that as a matter of fact. So press E to leave equipment screen. How very can can uh, cajoling or whatever. <laughs> yes, that's the right word. Of course it is. Man, that that was a sucky attack. But I that was a that was like critical right there. So good old crits. Crits are your best friend. Um, you know what? Since there isn't music, let's go ahead and turn on a little bit. I actually had some ready, just in case. So yeah, good good times. It's kind of whimsical. Uh, maybe that's completely the wrong one thing for <laughs> math roguelike. Number goblin. Okay, number goblins die in in, the, in that much damage. So how does this HP thing work? Huh. It seems like you can't get more than... Oh, okay, there we go. Max HP is now... As if to answer my question, the games are really good at just kind of answering my questions out in the, out in the blue. Short sword. Short sword is equal to better than what I have. You see, if roll value is greater than 25 on the floor. Huh. All right, so... Uh, and that's an enemy? No, that's a then. That's a then statement, I guess. And then the final damage is add, added by 20. <clears throat> that's not really that clear. It should be more of an incremental, like a plus plus operator. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's understandable enough. I'm being kind of a nitpicker for a programmer, I guess. I think, yes, just intuitively, it would certainly make sense that it's, uh, you know, you're you're getting an additional as opposed to it being the final damage is then equal to a positive 20 or something. Let's go ahead and improve our short sword because, yeah, if you just hold it, <laughs> it changes like that. So I had to be careful. Three divides the turn count seems like really good. So, and I think I'll just keep with the HP stuff because we're generating... Oh, I need to go to the next floor. Not, not the previous floor. I'm looking for Fermat's other theorem, not Fermat's theorem that was solved, you know, 6,000. Darn it. Uh, what was the button for stairs? Oh, so just that's just the interact with ground button. All right. Number goblins are pretty... Whoa. Okay, number goblins are a little harder now. Uh, dang. Okay. And I gained a level for that. That was fast. Yeah, you. It's a parabola. Parabola. That's gonna be um, what dealing more damage if you get a if you get a roll in the middle and less if you get it on the sides probably. Um, just as a uh, let's see, let's find out what that does. Oh, it just squared. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's really good. Okay, man, that's really good. I mean, it means that your attacks that deal less will deal not quite. It won't have as quite of an improvement on the other ones. But honestly, I mean, six, that's far more damage than I was dealing before. Uh, oh man, that, that one wasn't very good. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, it, it'll end up being, wow, plus 20? Dang, that's kind of just, you know, better than what I have. So, there we go. All right. 36 damage, 9 damage. This seems... These rolls seem very suspiciously similar. <laughs> Longsword? Well, that's better than what I have. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and waste some time. I got I got pretty good regeneration right now. Does this take time? That didn't take time. <laughs> and I dealt 196 damage in a single blue. Man. Wow. Huh. So... Right. I guess we're just kind of... Oops. Roll value is less than 8. Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah. How can I forget the get button? It's, there's only one button for interacting with the ground, you know? How could I mess that up? Alright, I think I've explored everything, pretty much. Yeah, maybe not. I don't think turn number... I don't know if there's something big about that, and I don't really feel like going to the left side, so we'll just call that a level. Um, there we go. Oh, it's a G button. Keep forgetting that. And there's the exit. Wow, but in the interest of math, I will explore. I will continue to explore. So these guys deal 
Those guys have a lot more HP now, but so do I. I have a lot of HP. <clears throat> Enough for the, uh, if the function is less than zero, <clears throat> I don't think that'll ever happen, given what I have currently. But that might change. Oh, whoa. Mr. Number Goblin. <clears throat> Additive inverse. That's, um... What is that going to be? It's like... <clears throat> you improve your... I don't know. So that's minus... So you deal negative damage? Why would you want to do that? Um... Hmm... So yeah, additive inverse is... Isn't that, isn't that more of a multiplicative inverse? I don't know. Man. <laughs> I don't want to be too nitpicky just because I took physics in college. Final damage is multiplied by two. Wow. Um, so what I could do is like if roll value is less than eight, then I multiply the damage by two. Um, but I think I want to just keep my HP regen. I don't want to... I don't want to have to think too much, man. Thinking is for thinking is for people who want to do math. And even though I am clearly in that category right now, I just don't have the brain the brain energy to, to really do it. So yeah, we'll just keep going with our with our good stuff and our good stuff. And uh, I mean, quite honestly, the whole regen is is extremely powerful right now. 100 damage, another 100 damage, there we go. And we got an axe, which is better than the longsword. Uh, so, there we go. That's a 63. And that, so, it's, its minimum is greater than it used to be. But the maximum is the same. Basically, I have a better probability distribution for greater damage. So, yeah. Better chance for greater damage, whatever. On to the next floor. Um, so we got some quasars. That's just the same thing over there. And that's the same thing. So you can get duplicates, I take it. And uh, okay, so it doesn't it doesn't require extra space or anything. That's good. Long sword. Maybe I got really good items early on, and it just kind of made the game somewhat trivially easier. But I am worried about their the increase of the of the enemy's difficulty, because they're obviously getting a lot harder. Uh, let's see. Time for some real roguelike tactics! So... Okay, that seemed to work pretty well. <laughs> In DD 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 DD. It's Parabola. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if, like... I got the Parabola way too early. Because it has been making me rather exponentially more powerful ha ha that's, that's a math joke I hope most of you guys got it well if some of you didn't get it that's okay too because I want to pander to absolutely anyone and everyone roll value is greater than 25 so that counts that counts towards the right so that should always happen so I'll just I mean, I, ba I basically I won't regenerate out of battle, but uh, you know I'll regenerate on I think every swing. So or will I? Wait. Are you just regenerate naturally anyway? Well, what the heck? Man, this this game is kind of kind of easy, isn't it? Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Well, sometimes this is, game is actually from a seven day verb like. I can't say which one, because I don't remember which one, but so it is. Um, final damage plus 20. should get that, because I just love to take items, even when they're redundant and won't show up anywhere. That's just how I roll sometimes. Indeed, sometimes... Oh, whoops, wrong direction. Not without for Matt's other last theorem. But, you know, the search for um, hyperbolic surfaces across... The, the nether abstract longation come on there we go, space um, you know finding the number of ver vertex grids across um, you know 72 channels of you know I'm never gonna get the roll values greater than 25 because that's that the roll is my weapon yeah it, it doesn't count for anything else so let's just keep with the divides by where'd that number goblin come from it just came out of nowhere 
Come on, there we go. Much better. These guys really aren't getting that much harder. Huh. Weird. But I really would love to find everything as, as much as possible. So, really? There we go. Uh, sometimes that just doesn't, doesn't register very well. So, yes. I guess... I, th I mean, there's a way to work with... There's a way to work with the additive inverse. You could basically make it so that if your roll value is... No, that wouldn't work either. Huh. I don't understand the point of it. Maybe if you get a negative weapon? Well, I could see that. Maybe there are some negative weapons. Negiverse weapons. Okay, so they're still dying in one hit. You know, on good rolls. So, I've still got nothing to worry about here. Oh. Where'd you come from, Number Goblin? Additive inverse. Oh boy. The ability to do negative damage. Maybe that'll come and maybe that'll happen sometime. Maybe we'll have to deal with ghosts and they can only be destroyed by healing them, which and that's always a, a clever way. You gotta use your, your Phoenix downs on your, your whites, and uh, that takes care of, of those guys instantly. Or whatever. Yeah, I remember that from Final Fantasy VI. That was it's kind of a cheap way to kill one of the bosses. But uh, you know, you, you go with what, what you got. Especially when you're freaking fighting somebody that's ridiculously hard. Ooh, if F of R. Have I always had that one? Maybe I've always had that one. Because that one could could be useful. That one could be like um, you add the number, use the number additive, and so in other words, that thing would always activate, and so you could use it as I don't know some kind of some kind of healing specialty, doubling function. Oh boy! So it probably multiplies things by two. And these guys are starting to to be annoying. Huh. All right. So that's new. And that's just two R. Honestly, the parabola is still better. On mo in I think every case right now. In fact, the, the parabola is only worse when the amount would be less than one, or less than two, sorry, less than two. So these guys are a lot harder, but not that harder, especially given how easily I heal. I mean, come on, that's pretty healing easyable. So, do to do, do to do, kill these guys. I might start dungeon diving at this rate. I've been playing for a while, and I don't even know if, if, if this is entertaining anymore for certain... <laughs> Player HP is multiplied by two. That's... Wow. Three divides roll value. Huh. That could work, but... Yeah. Yeah, it might not, so... Just go ahead and do this. Do this and do this and do that and just kind of spam the space button. And there we go. All right, on the next floor. I think I'm gonna start diving. Actually, let's just let's start diving. And apparently the AI isn't smart enough to round corners. It's kind of a shame, really. Wow, these guys are tough. These guys are tough. Wow. And I guess I'll just kind of heal. Yeah. There we go. These guys are actually pretty powerful. Okay. I need to, I need to worry a little bit, but uh, I should be able to regenerate fast enough for a number of things. Great axe, well that's good. Great axe will exponentially increase things, and that's, huh? I skipped a weapon. How about that? How about that? 324. Yeah, this is, this is starting to look like better damage already. All super ready. All right. Ta-da. Now I'm kind of worried about the prospect of, of going and uh, dealing with uh, areas past this because these guys are actually getting pretty hard. Quadrupling function. If turn count is if turn count is greater than 1,800, wow. Uh, I think we're at that point, as a matter of fact. So I could use that to just uh, say. Boosh, now I just gain health every single turn. 100 times negative final damage. Well, let's. We finally found our use there. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So that always happens. And 
So in other words, yeah, we're probably just gonna one hit everything from now on. Huh? Crazy. And nice big round numbers too. That's always fun. So this should be pretty easy at this point. Uh, in fact, are there anything? Is there anything left to get? I guess there might be. But I guess if we find it, we find it. And I'll just leave it at that. Oh wow! I can't. Uh, I don't one shot these guys. Okay. That's a little worrying because my HP regen isn't as perfect as it used to be. But I guess I can always switch if I really need to. Oh goodness gracious! Um, yeah, these guys uh, aren't very good at. Uh, let's just go ahead and improve this. Let's see. I think this is gonna be the fastest. Cause then I go foosh, foosh, skaboosh. There we go. All right. Big boost function. What does that do? Let's see. Oh, plus a hundred. Meh. That's pretty meh. That's that's pretty meh. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Calculations abound. There's a lot of enemies here. I'm I'm thinking that I'm getting near the end actually because. These enemies are actually quite challenging. Even with, I don't know, this really powerful powerhouse uh, of, a, of a combination. In fact, if I didn't have this combination, I'd probably be screwed right now. So go figure. Uh, where is the exit? There's the exit. Well, while I'm here, I could probably spend a few more seconds at least searching a little bit for anything else. Yeah, man, I just went the, completely the wrong way to get to the exit, didn't I? Alrighty then. Okay, so that's nothing. And you can hold the button down. Okay, you can just hold the button down. That's always fun. Unreliable sword. Yeah. Um, I guess I won't use unreliable sword. Preferred to have reliability. I guess. Oh wow. Okay. Um, I think I might be dead actually. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was sudden. Huh. Kind of got swarmed there. Dang. So, can I? Uh can't do anything now. Alright, so quit playing, press P to play, etc. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess I'm wondering, because... I don't... Huh. Yeah, I, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll just quit back. I was just playing through again. I got my combo up and everything like that. But I'm increasing my turn count because I'd like to be able to have the turn count greater than 1800 so I can heal up if ever necessary. So I'll be here for a little bit just kind of getting this to go up faster. It doesn't look like I can make it go faster than simply holding it down. So again, I'll be back in a bit. In just a bit. And here we are. Okay. It took a couple minutes, but whatever. It's cute. Okay, getting swarmed already. I need to break away from the swarm ability. Unfortunately, the AI in this game isn't quite smart enough to to uh, to swarm me properly. So that's that's what I have going for me at the moment. So big boost functions kind of meh. <laughs> it's plus a hundred. It's like compared to what I have in this combination, it's it's very little. Okay, so there's that. I do have to worry about my HP. Um, so we we'll just do this, and then we do this. I mean, I can just keep the the turn count thing up. I think at this point, because yeah, at that point it's just as constant as the F of R being less than zero, except that it happens every single turn too, which is nice for the purpose of my HP ness. Increaser. So. Oh yeah, right. What am I even doing? I, I found the exit. The exit's right over there. So you can bump into walls. And that oh wow. Okay, HP, HP. There. Yep. HP. There we go. Only takes a few turns, but you need to watch yourself. You know? So how much does this, does this guy deal? Well, he takes a lot of damage. So this must be the hard area. Get that. Okay, so just try not to get Swarm GH, and you should be okay, do okay. Okay, that's looking fairly okay. Alright, 
and level up a bit so I get better HPs. There we go. Much better. Oh boy, okay, yeah, let's f one at a time, guys. One at a time. Um, okay, and fortunately, because you have extra room to kind of, you know, move, because it doesn't take time to swap, you can just use your backtrack areas. Oh boy, um, darn it, come on. There we go. And that and that. Okay, much better. Yeah, I figured it might kill him, but you don't want to, you don't want to be too, too stupid about that, so. Oh, okay, swarming, swarmers, there we go. So, do to do, do, okay, dead, now it's your turn, bucko, alright, let's see, one, two, three, should be more than enough, and then we just fight you for the rest. I guess you died. I didn't see the, the indicator, but whatever. Okay. Another number goblin. Yeah, <laughs> number goblin. That just sounds funny. I guess I find that amusing. One, two, three. Or just two would have been enough. Hopefully I can kill you soon enough. There we go. There we go. And again. Again. Again! Okay, there we go. So that wasn't even max damage. They just didn't. They just didn't call that one. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Crazy that you're dealing as much damage as you can as you can deal, though. Sometimes. One of those. I think that was exactly what I needed. Uh, was it? Just about. I, one less HP would have been fine, I guess. So there's that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, and then I leveled up. Hooray! Maybe this is the final area because it's it's crazy, <laughs> crazy annoying. I, really, if you couldn't use this combo, I think you'd be pretty screwed. So that's something to worry about. You definitely need to get this combo, and I, I don't know if, if the random. Oh whoa, crapsies! I forgot. I need to actually <laughs> fight you with appropriate amounts of damage. There we go. One more. There we go. That's good. Heal up. And now we fight you. Okay. Count Mr. Coming out of nowhere from behind the bushes. Right. Oh, whoa. Smackity doo day. Okay. Let's try to get ourselves into a good position here. That's all I need. Hilariously enough. It's just that that's how it works out. Okay. Uh, I can do one more. Yeah, there we go. As long as I'm smart enough about where I'm going. There we go. Ooh, wow, you're dealing the you're really dishing out the damage this today, aren't you? Oh boy. So what is this weapon? Unreliable axe. Um I think that's overall better probability distribution. Marks. By the way, when I was talking about the parabola, I didn't mean failure function. Uh minus ten. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, right, the unreliable axe. So this is going to start dealing even more massive amounts of damage. This is just absolutely redonkulous now. Did I find the exit yet? I don't think I've found the exit. How did I not find... I've been basically everywhere. Uh, like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where is the exit? I guess uh, I'll start looking at nooks and crannies for a sec. Oh, well, I've checked every nook and cranny I can see. Uh, and I don't see an exit anywhere. Huh. Well, that sucks. Wow. Um, oh, wait. Is this... Huh. Well, I think that's the last nook and cranny. So, yeah. Apparently, that can happen. So... You know, I do remember somebody saying that they managed to... to in the comments, I was just looking at, at the, the game commenters, and somebody said that they weren't able to find the way down on the first floor, which I guess really especially sucks, because then that makes you think it's a it's like an especially annoying, fatal error. Because like, man, I couldn't beat the game at all. This this game is the worst thing ever. But no, it's it's uh, it's actually quite a cool concept. I guess being a seven-day roguelike, this is what. I, 
we I have become to expect in in that cool concept uh, lacks balance basically uh, especially this this combo this is a redonkulous combo the lowest amount of damage I can deal right now is 5,000 which is redinky redinky donkulous so I'll leave it to you guys if you want to try it out I'm pretty much kind of broke the combo wait what did I find it or something did I like find what I was looking for and then I can just go back and uh, what's going on what is going on here I don't remember any of this happening how come the number goblins isn't, isn't like even bothering to fight me huh. yeah he's stuck that's weird huh. well never mind it looks like uh, looks like I found for Matt's other last theorem I don't even know when I did. Is that just what I have? The combination? Is it that the you know the the fool's gold really did lead to the treasure trove? I don't know. Because um, certainly these guys don't deal a lot of damage at this point. And going upstairs, that's just how that works. Huh. Well, that was unexpected. Perhaps I stumbled upon it when nobody was looking, and uh, I will have to. <laughs> I will have to look through the video around to uh, see what exactly happened. Because I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened at all! Yeah, and all this stuff's old school. It's like not even very good items anymore. Just kind of... Yeah, <laughs> sometimes they don't even bother to fight me because they know they can't win. It's weird. Huh. Sometimes I can't fight them at all. It's that's even weirder. Huh. So am I decked out? Nah, I'm still missing a couple things. I I suppose I won't ever get them. Oh, well. huh. Let's see. Where is the exit? I think this should be the last. Yeah, floor one. There we go. Floor one. So just look for the stairs. Look for the stairs. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, so you can you can backtrack just not to the not past. Okay, so never mind. So you can backtrack all you want. Huh. Never mind. I guess I didn't win. Oh well. So that was fun. <coughs> this has been Game Hunter playing Math the Roguelike, and I thought it was pretty good, um, except for the balance. Basically, I thought the the concept was really fun, and I imagine you could really expand this game to include, you know maybe have a certain skill set that you can only equip at certain times and you have enemies that like um, have negative HPs and fluctuating stuffs and, and, and who knows normal distributions and power derivatives and I don't know you could you could do a lot with this game and I hopefully maybe we could see it changed up or expanded upon I don't know uh, I know Z who created Hyper Rogue actually did the um, the whole Hydra Slayer, which actually is influenced by this game. So you know, props to that. Um, we'll probably check out Hydra Slayer at some point. So Let's see how that goes. Anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing Met the Roguelike, like I said. And uh, join me next time when we take a look at another Roguelike, probably a bigger project. I think this is the extent of this project for the most part. It being a seven-day Roguelike, I wouldn't be surprised. So yeah, until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys. Take care.